Hey guys, it's me here with Hi. Julie and we are making a video today because I know a lot of you have been asking at least me personally questions about like what is it like to do social media for a living? Um, what is it like to write blogs and make content and stuff like that? And so I figured who better than to ask Julie a few questions about what she does because I learned a lot about what I've been doing here at Rethink from Julie. And so, um, yeah, just tell us a little bit about yourself first and then we'll get into it. Hi, I'm Julie. I'm the social media marketing manager here at Rethink Media Group. So um, Cami has taken over Rethink Media's social platforms and, and I do that for our clients. So I have about 15 social media clients. Um, some are just Facebook, some are Facebook, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. But um, I have a bunch a, of different things. Yeah, yeah, I have a very diverse um, client list. We have pest control, we have heating and air, we have, um, you know, doors and more. <laughs> <laughs> we literally have doors and more. All of the things. <laughs> so. One thing that I've been asked before is that, so you are using a bunch of creative energy while you're at work. So you're making graphics, you're yep. coming up with content, you're posting that you're on the computer basically all day. So when you get home, do you still have any kind of creative energy left or is it pretty much all gone by the time you get home? Not so much. Um, home time is my time to refuel. I do a lot of my research at home. Mm -hmm. um, so if I am on any social platforms, it is for work purposes. As I remind my husband that I'm not just playing, I am learning working and, and working. working. Yeah. Yeah. But I do, um, when I'm at home, that's when I take pictures of my kids and, um, yeah, just kind of catch up on what the rest of the world is doing on social mm -hmm. media. Right. So do you feel fortunate to be able to do something like this for a living? I mean, oh, you're course. literally getting paid to make pretty things yeah, and post that. Yeah, play on that. a computer all day. Yeah. And yeah, no, it's so nice. It's it's changing all the time. And this is literally like a time capsule of mm -hmm. where we are now, where you are personally, where your company wants to be. And it's where everyone is. Yeah, I've okay. actually heard our job being described as like a nonstop training seminar. Does that make sense? Or do yeah. you relate to that? No, I totally get that. It's It's new. Let's try it. Let's get on board and see how we can implement it, see if it works for us. Mm -hmm. So do you have any advice to people that are wanting to try this, wanting to do social media for a living? And if you do, what would you tell them? Um, definitely, I think start with what you have now. So like if you're not working for anybody, just be your own personal brand because before you can get a job, you have to sell yourself. So if you think of your social media as not a business social media, but a professional social media, and then, um, you know, decide what's important to you. So for me, it's my kids, it's my husband, it's my church, you know, and then just post things and you'll find your tribe. When you work for a company, you are the brand. You are mm -hmm. the, when people come on and look for your business, they're they're looking for your culture. They're looking for your personality because anybody can go on Google and find your phone number or your address and go there. Mm -hmm. But when they get on social media, they want to know the backside story. Right. Maybe that's why how you find people that want to apply to be, become part of your company. And I also think that's why social media is so important is Definitely. because, you know, you're not going to always just go right into a business. What's the first thing you do? You're going to look up that business on Facebook and you're going to see who is this person? What do they do? What are they like? And then from that, you'll decide, hey, is this something that I want to go check out on my own? Do I have yep. time to go and do that? And so I think that's another really important thing. Or is, do they have a sale? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then you figure those things out through your social media, and then you can go and see that company in person and see what their company is about. Yeah, and then when you do, you'll take a picture and you'll tag them and you'll check right. in. It's and just you'll... an everlasting loop mm -hmm. that just keeps on going with social media. Yeah the meaningful part of it is when yeah. you can touch people and say, you know, it's like a virtual card. It's a virtual, like you tell people happy That's birthday sweet. on social media. <laughs> yeah. And 
when you get engaged or when you graduate or when anything, it's like you put it here when you're pregnant, when, you know. Yeah, just like life events and stuff mm -hmm. like that that get posted and there. And it captures all of that and then you uh -huh. get it in your time hop or your memories. Yeah, that's and the best part. I feel yeah. like just seeing where then you've seeing come from. Again. Yeah. And so I think that is a really big thing is like, you when you're making content and when you're posting stuff or writing a blog or something like that you're thinking like this is going out to people and people are going to see this and i hope that like by me doing this people are going to be inspired by it yeah. i know that kind of sounds cheesy but no, absolutely yeah you want people to remember what you posted and and that's a big thing and you want them to do it too if mm -hmm. you see somebody share what you do or try to do what you do but make it their own that's that's, that's a, a compliment huge, yeah that's the biggest success for social media is to have that be commented on and shared and you know you give people the idea of wow i can do that too mm -hmm. you know? and so how did you get into all of this social media managing and how would you suggest someone like get into this themselves well when i started when i was in college i was a public relations marketing major mm -hmm. and social media was not business at all yeah. it was just for college kids for high school kids it was just a place to you know rather than text just to talk mm -hmm. and so my job i didn't even study for it you know because yeah. it, it wasn't a thing mm -hmm. i became a personal brand i became i'm selling you know these products that i'm selling uh -huh. but i have to sell myself because people buy from who they like know respect and trust mm -hmm. and just like with a big brand that's how you have to be yourself so you know you want people to like you and you want people to trust you and that's what i would recommend to anybody right. is get your own knowledge you know anywhere out there you can look up a youtube video on you know how to do things and i would hope that you would find that from us because that's what we're trying to be yeah. for you um but you just learn on your own you know every all of this is new even to us so everything new try it you know make live videos and and post in your news feed as well as your stories and make your own graphics and make your own conversations you know ask right. questions and get people to engage in your stuff and see if you go viral go for it yeah you never know until you try right and so this is also going to be going out to um different people that follow rethinks media's mm -hmm. social pages and so um what advice do you have to them if they're kind of on the fence like do i need to hire someone to do my social media do i not um what is something that you can offer them that they couldn't get any rounds Gotcha. Well, every, I think everybody knows just how important social media is and to keep up with it on a business side. But the problem is for the people who are day in and day out in the business, it's the last thing you think of or the last thing you have time for because you're, you're in the thick of it and you're running it. Mm -hmm. And like we were talking about, the people who are on the outside looking in, they're looking to see, you know, how fun you are and what you've got going. And if you're not showing that because you're so busy on the inside, that's when you need somebody to help to say, you know, I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. I can come take pictures for you. I can come make these things for you. Let me know when you have a sale. You know, I will take care of it and you can be as hands on or hands off as you want. Mm -hmm. And I do the posting for you. I do the scheduling for you. I like to make, you know, that fun copy where people say, well, that's kind of cheesy or that's kind of silly or, oh, that's funny and that's cutesy. And mm -hmm. I, I do all of that. And, you know, if there's some crazy holiday that we want to promote, like National Cell Phone Day, like, I'm your girl. You and know. today is National Vanilla Milkshake Day. There you go. So we can make a graphic for that. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Do you have anything else that you want to add? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay, perfect. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.